Hey, Gene here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to convince your family to let you ride a motorcycle. Now, there's going to be two different aspects of this. If you are not 18 and then obviously you've got to have your parents or guardians to actually approve of you riding a motorcycle before you can do it. If you are an adult, it's ultimately your decision, but you also have to realize that if you go against everyone's wishes that you will have to live with the consequences. So there is that. Now, an important thing that I want to say right up front, you don't get to decide how your family or how your friends feel about you riding a motorcycle. You can try to change how they feel, but you don't get to decide how they feel. If they're scared for you or upset or feel hurt that you decided to ride, you don't get to decide that they don't feel that way. And you've got to be respectful to them and you've got to give them time to get on board with it. So the reason why your family doesn't want you to ride a motorcycle, the majority of the time, it's because they care about you and they're afraid for you. They think it's dangerous. Oftentimes, motorcycle accidents are sensationalized, makes it seem like people are crashing left and right. But motorcycling, while admittedly, if you do have an accident, your odds of getting injured are much greater than in a car. But also, there are a lot of things that you can do to mitigate the risk. Uh, wearing a proper helmet, wearing gloves, wearing riding jacket, wearing, wearing lawn pants, wearing boots. Those are things you can do to help mitigate the risk. You can take training. You can ride safe. And honestly, I would recommend anyone take training. Even if you already know how to ride, having more training is not a bad thing. If you've done the MSF course, then do an advanced course. You know, it's, it's always good. So those are some things you can do. To, uh, if they know you're going to be safe, they're more likely to, they're more likely to be okay with you riding. Now, a common thing people say is, well, it's not you I'm worried about, it's everybody else. But here's the thing, if you assume everybody on the road is going to do something stupid and you watch out for it, then you can greatly reduce the odds of being in an accident. I drove a bus for, well, by the time I stopped driving a bus, I had driven a tour bus for, well, it wasn't all the tour bus, but that's not the point. I had driven a bus for a third of my life. and. In all that time, I had plenty of opportunities to have a major accident, but I never did. And the reason for that is, I assumed everybody was going to do something stupid, and oftentimes they did not disappoint. And as much as, you, as people don't see a motorcycle, it would seem like they don't see a bus, but actually it's they're doing everything humanly possible to get in front of the bus because they don't want to be behind the bus because people are dumb. The other thing is that there are actually some really positive things about riding motorcycles. They are easier on gas, they're generally cheaper on insurance, and as I've mentioned in a previous video, riding a motorcycle can really help with depression and anxiety. It can help you to make new friends. It's, it's just a wonderful opportunity riding motorcycles. And I think for most people, if you can convince them that, if you can convince your friends and your family that riding a motorcycle isn't that bad, that you're not going to ride like crazy and be one of those uh, ding-dongs that are doing wheelies on public street and speeding, if you can convince them you're, you're going to be safe, that you're going to be responsible, that you're going to wear the gear, then they'll be more on board with it. Uh, you might need to give them a little time to come around. And once they do come around, 
don't violate that trust by doing something stupid. So. Uh, another thing that you might be able to do to convince them to allow you to ride a motorcycle is going to uh, events where there are other motorcycles and having them talk to people who ride. See, the misconception is that motorcycles are extremely dangerous and that if you get on one, you'll surely die. You will surely die. But that, of course, is not the case. And there are things that we do every day that have far greater risk than riding a motorcycle. And maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. As I said earlier in this video, you don't get to decide how people feel about your decision to ride a motorcycle. But if you're an adult, it is ultimately your, your decision and you have to live with that consequence. If, if you're not involved in a relationship or if, or if it's not going to end your relationship, you know, go ahead and ride. But if, say, you're in a relationship and they are adamantly opposed to you riding and they say it's either you or the motorcycle, well, you got to make a choice and live with that choice. But it's, it is ultimately up to you. So as an adult, you can do what you want, but there are consequences. And instead of just throwing it in their face and saying, hey, I'm an adult, I'm going to do what I want, you got to live with it. It would be a lot better to try to convince them that that you are that it's a good idea for you to ride. Uh, you know, don't be disrespectful. Uh, if if you're in a relationship and you just throw it at them and say, "Hey, I'm going to ride no matter how you feel about it. I don't care how you feel," or even if you don't say you don't care how they feel, if you make them think you don't care how they feel, they may not want to be in the relationship anymore. So. If writing is really important to you, and if they love you as much as they say they do, then there should be a way for you to guys to come to common ground. But being disrespectful and just throwing it on them and saying, hey, I'm going to do this no matter what you think of it, that is not going to help your relationship, and they're going to despise motorcycles forever, and that's not a good place to start. Also, if you just go out and buy a motorcycle and hide the fact that you bought a motorcycle and you just secretly ride it, that's not going to be good either. Eventually you're going to be found out and then you're probably going to wind up ending that relationship. So honesty is important. Just, just be honest with the people. Be respectful. Tell them how you feel. Tell them how important motorcycle riding is to you and why you want them to ride. Tell them that you're going to be safe and don't just tell them you're going to be safe actually demonstrate that you're going to be safe. If you tell them you're going to be safe riding a motorcycle, but in your car you're always speeding and not using signals, and you know, if you're, if you're doing, taking risks in other areas of life on a daily basis, and you tell your family members that you're going to be safe on a motorcycle, they know you're not, and you probably won't. Anyhow, I uh, really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And um, I've got to wrap this up because I've got to go do some Christmas shopping and pick up, uh, pick up something for my wife. Um, the last thing I order, was going to order for her was absolutely not going to be here before Christmas. So I just finally canceled it and I'm going to try to find it locally. So we'll see how that goes. But again, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Ride safe.